Now in stable diffusion, you can take this image and resize it by keeping the subject in center and extending the background like we see in this image using the power of generative AI. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I will tell you how you can achieve perfect outpainting like the one I showed you at starting of this video using the in-painting model of control net. So let's get started with image generation process. But before that, you need to install Stable Diffusion on your system and Control Net extension on it. I have made separate videos to do both and I will be sharing the link in the description below. If you want, you can check them out. You also need to update Control Net to its latest version. To do that, you need to go to Extensions, click on Check for Updates. If there are any updates in Control Net, you will be notified here. You just need to apply and restart UI. You also need to ensure that you have in-paint model and preprocessor in Control Net. So as you can see, I have in-paint only preprocessor and model. And I also have other in-paint preprocessors like in-paint only plus Llama and in-paint global harmonious. If you don't see these even after updating your control net, then you go need to go to this Hugging Face page and you have to download InPaint PTH file and InPaint YML file by clicking on these icons. I'll be sharing the link of this page below in the description. Once you have done that, you need to go to Stable Diffusion folder, go to Extensions, then go to Control Net and then go to models and paste those files in this particular folder and then you need to close stable diffusion application and relaunch it again so i am again in stable diffusion i am using realistic vision model i have already entered positive and negative prompt i am using sampling method as euler a number of sampling steps i will be setting at 30 and i will be using high res fix over here and here I will be using latent upscaler. High res steps I will set at 20. And denoising I will set at 0 0.5. I have also entered the seed over here because I want to use the same image that I had generated before. So let's click on generate. So this is the image that is generated. And this image I had also showed you in the beginning. Now I will be saving this image. And I will send this image to image to image. Now I'll be resizing this image. So I'll be setting it at 768. And I will set width at 1280. So why am I downsizing this particular image? Because if I increase the width in proportion to the height that was already set, I will get a CUDA error because it will use too much of VRAM. Now I will be uploading the same image that I generated in control net. I will be using inpaint only plus llama model because this gives the best result for me. I will be setting control mode at control net is more important. Here I will remove the seed because that way I get better results. I will set the denoising strength to 0 0.85. As you are filling the empty space with entirely new creation. So you will get good results when denoising strength is as high as possible. I get best result when I set denoising strength ranging between 0 0.8 and 0 0.9. But I encourage you to play around with this number. Also in control net you need to set resize mode to resize and fill. Because when you select this option, stable diffusion will resize the image by keeping the subject in the center like we see in this image. Now I also have to adjust the prompt over here. I don't need description of subject in the prompt because I just need the background over here. So I will be removing it. I will also edit the negative prompt over here. Now I have set everything and let's click on generate. So this is the result we got. As we can see, there is no change in the subject, but background has been extended depending upon the resolution we provided. And we do not see any abrasions or blur in the background and outpainting has been done perfectly. I have noticed that the result I get here 
is even better than the generative fill of Photoshop. With this, we come to the end of this video. If you like this video, hit the like button. And if you want more such videos, hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon.